I don't have my notebook with me, but in, in essence what I did in the last speech is I showed my notebook. And my main question, and that's to every company, no matter how big they are, and you'd be surprised, uh, is do you have every process completely like lined out? And I'll give you an example. So for instance, let's take, let's take, um, I give you iSync because it's an old company that I used to work for on all three levels. It's a student organization that a lot of people that have become entrepreneurs actually know, so iSync. So iSync has a president on international level. Under the presidents, he has vice presidents, right? Under the vice presidents, he has team leaders. And it goes down and down and down. Now, every vice president has a vice president task marketing, vice president digital marketing, vice president product innovation, and so on. And so my main question when I get started, well, the first question that I ask startups is, are you funded? Because then the conversation is not really, really interesting. Uh, because usually they don't get a lot done. Um, I've done it a lot where I had conversations with startups, they're not funded, and six months later they're doing something else. So the first question is, are you funded? And the second thing is, are your systems mapped out? Do you know who, do, who does what and where? And so my entire company is, well not like this, it's bigger, but every part is written down. Every little part is written down. And then, when it's written down, the questions that you start asking are completely different. So you start automating, you start asking, hey, I have, a, I have a vice president of marketing, but he does a lot of crappy stuff that don't, don't give a good ROI. Why is he doing that, that, and that? Uh, and then you also start thinking, he's doing stuff that his team leader could be doing. Why isn't his team leader doing that? Um, or the other way around. And, and that's when you as the founder, as the CEO, you start innovating your company, which is a task that you should be doing in the beginning. You work on your company, not in your company. You shouldn't be doing operations. You should be doing strategic innovations within the company. And you start by mapping it out. And so you go into marketing and then you're like, okay, I'm paying this person 5,000 euros a month and yet he's busy doing data collection and putting emails into I don't know what. Um, it's a really bad example, but you start realizing that this could be outsourced to the Philippines pretty much uh, for five bucks and instead you're spending 5,000. Uh, and so one of the main things that we do in my main company is we go to these multinationals and we show them their process and we tell them you're spending this much money on this guy, give it to us and you'll save a ton of costs because the amount of per hour that you're spending on your vice president where, whereas the amount of per hour that you would be spending on us if you buy high quantity uh, will work out cost effective and the vice president suddenly has time to go and do stuff that he should be doing. And so that's how you start automating. That's the first initial process. You start mapping everything out and then you start working on your business and not in your business. And it's really that simple. But if you go, you can go outside now I dare you even go to any startup entrepreneur and ask them, are these systems lined out? And they will tell you it's not. Some of them will, and those are the people that are gonna make it. And the reason is simple, because they will have mentors, and they will screw up in their marketing or in their sales funnel, and they will go to their mentors and ask, why is my sales funnel in the third funnel where I share this, this, and this, screwing up and not giving a good ROI? And the mentor will answer in two sentences, Alone, do this um, and I've seen people mentors of mine that go they, they travel on an airplane two hours pay a guy ten thousand dollars or whatever it was to sit down for an hour with them and they ask literally what is here it's like I'm struggling with this this and this problem what do you do and then they start writing down it and that's how business is done and then and then you have other people that are how do you how do you you do sales <laughs> your mentor if you have any or a person here will be like just be yourself man it's that general answer that you don't want to hear so um, that's how you start automating if you have a more specific question like I'm struggling with automating this do, do you or no, 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 okay no, so no. But that's how you start